course I'm a bot. Look at this guy asking if I'm a bot. So as you guys um as you guys saw a couple of episodes ago when I was doing the Juju Favor Points collection, uh, he just reported me. Um so there goes my account. But yep, so pretty much if you guys remember I did I did insert the Lord of the Rings little sound clip in there and um what happened was is I did use the 2,000 favor points, but I wasn't actually under the effect of the Juju Hunter potion, so I effectively wasted all of the 2,000 favor points. And the reason I'm doing this is to get the Eugene seeds, and then um, after growing the Eugene seeds, I get the Eugene herbs, and I use those Eugene herbs with the um, Marble Vine, and you create the Juju Hunter potions. And the point of getting the Juju Hunter potion is it just increases the yield. Um, it just increases the yield. Of, well, I guess it, it increases the yield of when, when you gain herbs and things like that. So you effectively, you just get a lot more herbs doing farm runs. And that just means you get a lot more profit. So that's the main reason why I'm doing this. And this time, I'm actually going to use my Juju Hunter Potion and collect my um, collect my favor points. Or I guess collect my seeds. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. And I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit of a, a story that happened last night. Now, last night, I was streaming Nex. And um, sometimes when you stream bosses such as Nex, people tend to jump on the stream and they try and crash you. And you know this happened once. It was, it was um, Trent, myself, and Hermione. We were all, we were all. Um, I believe it. I, I I call him Hermione, but his name is actually Homie. But yeah, he, Hermione. Hermione it is. But last night we were on a stream. I'm killing next. We, we you know we. I managed to hide the world uh, correctly. I turned my private chat on friends only. I um I left my friends chat, which I'm in now. I left that. I also left my clan chat, which I'm still out of now. Um, and I've only recently just joined my friends chat, so I wasn't in my friends chat. Um, but this one guy came in and he managed to he managed to crash us. Now the thing was we were we we managed to hide the world for at least 12 kills before that. And in those 12 kills, we didn't really get anything spectacular, but we did obviously make money because it's next. You, you generally make more money than you lose. Um, but we were fortunate enough to make quite a bit of money before that. And, uh, you know, this guy decided to come in. He, he obviously knew, we obviously knew that he was watching the stream uh, because he said, hey, stream. And he came in with full, I'm not quite sure what he came in, but he had he had Scrimshaw, he had the Auras, um, and he had max DPS gear. And uh, the one kill... The one kill he came in and uh, managed to get 200 experience more than Hermione. Um, so he, he only he only had DPS Hermione by 200 experience, um, and he managed to get a Virtus Master Drop. Now I do appreciate that it's only a Virtus Master Drop, but I, I found it actually hilarious that the chances of um, us getting crashed by one guy for one kill and that one kill results in a drop. I just found that hilarious because obviously it's so unlucky for one, you know, just one kill. And we we also considered jumping into a friends chat and using loot share. Um, but you know, I, I was thinking we're probably not going to be getting a drop because what are the chances? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so so that happened. We uh, lost. It was 7.6 mil, which was you know it was more than a two mil split each. It was between two and a two and a half mil split. Uh, but, you know, that's only 2 mil uh, towards the series, which is like half an hour at QBD. So, it only really wasted half an hour of my time. So, I'm not really bothered, to be honest. Um, you know, hopefully he had fun coming in and crashing us. Um, you know, I really, we, obviously, we don't we don't appreciate when crash is coming up. But I kind of found it hilarious that the one kill that we get crashed, we managed to lose, you know, 2.5 mil. But, yeah, so that was the story. Okay, let's just use one stripe vine. Yep, so the common genicos have been warded off. And all I've got to do now is use another Juju Hunter Potion, um, another Juju Hunter Potion dose on the uh, Blossom Bush because I really don't want, you know, I don't want to have the same thing happen like last time, whereby as I'm entering the uh, this vine here and as I'm as I was going down last time, my Juju Hunter Potion wore off, and you can see it in the chat. So I'm going to make sure that this time I'm going to actually get. You know the best seeds that I can. Now I've only used 1,000 favor points. It's not really, it's not really all that much, but I am almost out of Juju Hunter potions, so I really need these as quick as I can. So I'm quickly going to use uh, withdraw all of these rewards, and let's do this spareable. Okay, so we've got six Juju seeds. That is definitely worth the pain going. Like that's definitely worth it. You know. Uh, for only a thousand favor points, that's six, and that's probably multiplied by about what another six. So I probably get like around forty herbs off this. It depends on obviously the picking rates of things, but um, you know, minimum of forty, uh, minimum of forty potions, and that's three dose potions, and then multiply that by three, and that's one hundred and twenty. 
one doses, and that's that's exactly what I'm going to be using with my farm run. So that's that's a fantastic result, and you know at least I have some more Eugene seeds to use rather than just wasting my points on these bloody blossom seeds or whatever they are. Okay, so I've run into a slight dilemma. I've just done QBD for about an hour. Um, I just finished work and I've come home, and I wanted to use my penance aura because the penance aura lasts for one hour, and I thought if I did QBD for one hour, I can test to see how much money I can make within the one hour. Um, and but before doing QBD, I could pretty much afford my dual dry goals. So um, regardless of how much I made throughout this hour, I can afford double dry goals. Uh, but the only problem is, and you know the reason why I said. Um, I'm in a sticky situation is because I don't want this series to end. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing is I want to do some sort of um, ascension series. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to start from scratch again and then um, work my way up to ascensions like I did with dry goals. Um, I was considering doing something on the long, along the lines of using my dry goals, which I obtained from this series and then translate that over to my Ascension series because I don't want to lose all the progress that I've gained throughout the series um, and obviously you guys seem to have been enjoying the series which is absolutely fantastic um, without further ado I'm going to quickly show you guys all of that I made um, within the one hour of uh, QBD and I'm not quite sure if I have everything that I got from the hour but this is a you know this is quite a rough guess and it will give you a very very good estimate so I'm going to quickly put everything in here I can just use this button here um, I did make about 6.8 mil in that one hour um, but I think no, that seems about right. So I did make about six mil in that one hour, um, which is ab I, I can't see um, there are any faults here. So you know, QBD is absolutely amazing money. Without the, all the without all the other drops, it's about um, it's minimum. It's a very very um, you like the lowest amount of money you'll make an hour at QBD is two mil. You will never make anything above two, uh, anything below two mil an hour at QBD, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm going that off the Royal Dragon Hides and the Dragon Bones, as you can see here. If you combine those two, it's uh, two million and fifty-seven k, roughly, or maybe fifty-eight k. Um, but that's you know that's the very, very minimum you'll get. That's not even including the Royal Bolts. Um, so I did manage to get six point, about nearly six point nine mil in the one hour of doing QBD, which is absolutely, which is absolutely fantastic money. Um, now I'm going to do the scary thing. I'm going to price check everything in my bank that I've gained from the series and see if I can actually afford the double dry goal. So I'll be right back. So I've had a slight uh, change in my plan. I'm going to quickly sell all of these items I obtained from QBD for the past hour. And then um, after this, I'm going to give you guys a massive price check of the dry bank to dry goal series. And I think I'm just going to buy the dry goals. Um, and you know, that's probably going to be the series over. So the current price of a dry goal main hand is um, 50, 55 mil and it's actually decreasing by 500k on the daily. Um, so if I quickly if I quickly do a quick price check of all of my items in my inventory right now, I'm gonna put all the items in. If I actually take out the Drago Longsword, I have 64.1 million GP. Um, so if I sell all of this, I can actually afford the double Dragos. A lot of the things um, that make up the majority of my wealth right now is the Armadil, like the full Armadil, and I have used the full Armadil to acquire the majority of my wealth. Um, I did use full Armadil to do Frost Dragons and QBD. My Abyssal Wand was also quite, um, it's, it's, it's helped c um, c contribute, contribute um, to a lot of my wealth as well, but it hasn't been um, as significant as a full Armadil, because my full Armadil has been through, uh, it's been with me through my Frost Dragon journey, as well as my QBD journey, and my Abyssal Wand has only been me with me through my next journey. And um, my Herb Bronze as well has been a massive, massive part of the Dry Bank to Dry Gores. Um, if I was to recommend one main thing that you guys do, um, if not even, not even, not even if you're just going for Dry Gores, but if you're going for anything, I recommend doing Herb Runs because they, it is absolutely beast money. Potion Flasks are another thing, not not as good as the Herb Runs, but um, I definitely recommend doing Potion Flasks every day. Um, Battle Staves aren't too much of a big deal, but obviously crafters that are going for 99 do want a cheap way of getting that 99 skill cape and you know just just for the max cape and things like that because doing battle staffs using like th through the air battle staff method is a quite effective way to get 99 crafting it's quite cheap as well um, well at least it was when I did it but yeah you know there's only a few items in here if I put my offhand drag along sword in I'm only 300 kgp off of um, off of 100 million GP obtained during the series and that took me about three weeks so that's an average of about 33 million GP a week um, which is you know it's it's not too bad in my opinion uh, 33 mil a week, you know, um, in comparison to a lot of different other methods, I guess it's it's quite good. You know, I'm very very proud of my achievements with this. And if I can if I can buy my wealth with this on my alternate account, now this is all this is all been from scratch. Um, I started with nothing, or well, pretty much nothing, just apart from a few auras and things like that. Um, now, 
what I did was I put all of my money on my alternate account. So not only do I have 99 million GP on um, on this account right here, plus all the other stuff in my bank, like inc including my Serenic and things, I'll just show you right here. Um, I've also got uh, all of this stuff, like my Serenic, Completion Escape, all this good stuff, as well as my Bandos I've even got here. Um, and I don't really have anything else that's much... Um, that's really worth anything, but everything's on my alternate account, so I might actually bring that over. Oh no, I'm not going to do that just yet, but yeah. So basically, you know, 100 mil gained in this series, which is a massive achievement. I'd just like to give um, Master Kyle a quick shout out here. I was editing the Dry Bank to Dry Girls episode 8, and he, as soon as I logged on, he, he said that he was a, I think he said he was a massive fan or something like that, which is crazy too. Um, obviously, having around 400 subscribers, it's it's nice to get some sort of PM from people that watch my videos and appreciate the, you know, the work that I put in and the content that I create. It really does mean a lot. Um, so I'm just having a little chat with him now, and it's come to my attention that he's starting his own little, his own little um, Road to Dry Girl series, which is awesome, you know. And it's good to see that people are kind of taking the series, and so not, not, not taking the series, but... They're watching the series and they're learning from it and then they're putting it into their own sort of putting it to their own sort of use and you know and benefiting from it. And you know, as long as one person does it, I'm happy. Um and you guys seem to be enjoying the series because you know the the views on these videos, I'm not gonna lie, they've been probably um double if not quadruple the views that I that I would normally get on, you know, any other video. So I really do I really, really do appreciate it, fellas. Um it really does mean a lot. And a shout out to Master Kyle again. So good luck with getting a dry goes, my friend. So I'm not quite sure what I've what I've been saying in the last few clips because I I recorded a four and a half minute clip with my Audacity, but the audio wasn't recording because on the microphone I've got this massive mute button. The mute button's the biggest button on the on like on like the little microphone thing. Like it's 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 a part of the wire between the actual headset and the computer. It's like this massive massive bulky piece of uh, piece of equipment that the mute button is massive on it. So sometimes that will happen even in the streams and stuff like that. Um, what I was saying was I decided just to sell my dry go oh, my offhand dry go longsword to see how much money I made through the entirety of this series. I'm going to quickly show you guys in my bank right now. Um, this is all I have left really. I don't really have anything left that's worth selling. I've got my full angel ceremony but that's not really worth selling. Can't sell my royal crossbow. Dragon Rider Amulet is worth like 50k or something like that. But you know that's um, that's not um, that's not really necessary because with this series, I did manage to make 100 mil in about th just a minimum of three weeks. In between three and four weeks, um, no, it's not between three and four weeks. It's about two and three weeks actually. Um, I've been doing the series for about less than three weeks, I believe it is. I managed to make 100 mil. And if you guys have been keeping up the series, um, I started with white berries. I picked white berries for, for my first mil. I then began doing my dailies, um, which did make up quite a big chunk of my um, of my 100 mil. I then did herb runs a lot of the time. Herbal habitat is, is absolutely essential when it comes to doing herb runs. Now, I'm not quite sure what farming level you need to do dwarf weed, so I'm going to quickly check for you guys. So you need 79 farming for dwarf weeds. Now, I recommend doing dwarf weeds over um, lantern items because I believe dwarf weeds are more in demand. Um, lantern items you only use for um, super... Def I guess I guess they're used for overloads, but I recommend doing dwarf weeds because I made a bunch of money off them. So if I was to recommend any stats to you guys, I, re I recommend getting about 80 farming, 80 base melee stats. Um, if you can, get 70 or 95 prayer. I'd probably just start with 70 because 95 is quite expensive. Um, also, if you have 85 dungeoneering, um, you'll be able to do frost dragons, and that's absolutely brilliant GP per hour. If you just did frost dragons for an entire week, I'm sure you'd, you would be able to make um, 100 mil. Like if you just, you know, work up in the morning to frost dragons for maybe six or seven hours a day at maybe, I think it's like two mil an hour or something like that. Um, you could probably do it within about eight or nine days or something like that just to get, I don't know, 100 mil. It, 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 there's so many different variables included with making money. It's ridiculous. So I can't really give you guys proper stats and proper information regarding making money. But as long as you get 85 dungeoneering, um, you'll be able to make a lot of money. Also, if you do the quests uh, for QBD, and if you get 85 uh, Herbal, obviously the requirements are a bit steeper than the ones for Frost Dragons, but the GP per hour is is double Frost Dragons, I believe. You'll be, ma you'll be, ma you'll be making absolute bank. And I also recommend using uh, Chaotic Crossbows um, at QBD as well, if you don't have Ascensions or anything like that. Um, but, you know, there's so many different ways to make money, and that was the point of starting this series. And, you know, like the way, the methods that I mainly use was daily, so make sure you buy your yak hides, do your potion flasks every day, and do your herb runs every hour and a half, and you'd be making absolute bang just off those. As well as doing, I did a little, I did a little bit of next, 
didn't make too much money off Next, but my main source of income, well, or well, a couple of um, main sources of income were QBD, uh, Frost Dragons, and just my dailies and things like that. So that's how I made the 100 mil. I may as well finish the series off, but uh, right here, so I'm going to quickly try and buy my double dry gores right now. Hopefully I can afford them. If I can't, this would be a waste, but I'm going to quickly, I don't really care how much I buy them for. Because the point of the series was just to obtain dual Drygors, so I'm going to see if I can buy them real quick. So there we are, fellas. That's the end of the series, the official end of the series. I believe the Drygor Longswords are the most expensive. Um, so I decided to get those, you know, these two. So I'm going to quickly go and collect these Drygor Longswords, and that will mark the end of this series. So I really do hope you guys enjoy the series, and I might throw a few clips in after this one. Um, but I do, I have 9 mil spare, which is absolutely fantastic. So there we are, fellas. They're the dual Drygors. I started with nothing. Worked my way up uh, through white berries, frost dragons, dailies, and that includes like yakis, potion flasks, battle stars. I did herb runs. I did um, I did frost dragons, tons of frost dragons. I did QBD. Um, I did next. I did you know a bunch of different bosses just to show you guys how you can make um, how, how you can make 100 mil starting from absolutely nothing with um, reasonably low stats. I believe they're actually mid level stats. About if you have 80 combat stats as well as 85 Dungeoneering and about 80 Farming, you, you'll be able to make as much money as I have. Um, but it's also really, really important to do quests and things like that because it unlocks so much of the game that's so useful. It's actually ridiculous um, how useful it is doing quests. So, you know, apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoy the Drive Back to Drago series. I want to do an Ascension series um, whereby I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to start from scratch again because I've already done that. But in the future, um, because this series, you guys seem to uh, take a really, really big liking to this series. I might do one in the future, but let me know in the comments below. Um, but you know, that's this is this marks the end of the Dry Bank to Dry Girl series, fellas. I wasn't sure how long it would take me, but it only took me maybe three weeks maximum. Um, but I do want to get Ascensions next because Ascensions are the best crossbows in the game. I'm about halfway there. I think I have about 200 mil uh, worth of items or 250 mil. I might do a price check in a bit. Um, but I do want the I would do want the best gear in this game, and that obviously includes Serenic and Ascensions and Scrimshaws. Uh, obviously, the tier 80 or tier 90 gloves, whichever whichever the new Manic gloves are. Uh, but they're for melee, of course. But obviously, I want I want level, and I want I want all the best gear you can and you can have in the game. So I can do Rise of the Six. I can do Next, maybe even Solar Next. Um, but I do I want to do a bunch. I want to explore a bunch of um, bunch of different stuff now. That I've got max total, and I have quite a bit of money. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.